Uh, hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us again. I'm back with Kurt Soloff. Kurt, thanks for uh, taking the time, being willing to uh, join us. For a oh, hand. anytime, but you're glad to do it. So I, uh, I, I rang Kurt up. This is a random hand I played yesterday. I struggled with it. I couldn't make my contract. Um, other people did. I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't know if uh, folks just got lucky with whatever they tried. Kurt, can we put you in the hot seat? Kurt hasn't seen the hand yet. Can we hey, put you in I, the hot seat? And you can just help us out, share your thought process as we look at the hand. You know, I fashioned myself something of a bridge therapist. So if anything, <laughs> uh, you can settle in on the virtual couch here and okay. uh, we'll, we'll see if we can give you a little help. That's really what this is about, right? This is bridge therapy. Yeah, you know, no, nothing uh, gives your ego uh, quite the pummeling uh, that the game of bridge does, right? <laughs> All right, so here we are. So um, we end up uh, uh, four hearts as declare. Dummy comes down. And um, yeah, it's an interesting... Um, it's an interesting challenge in front of us. Can I share my thought process when I, and, and what I did, and maybe you can pepper us with some questions, react to it. Let me know if there's something I missed. Let all of us know if there's something we should be sure to consider. Yeah, let's, uh, let's find out uh, what approach you took and uh, what perhaps could go wrong on the hand. Okay. All right. So uh, just following suit, another, another diamond. We're going to win this. And um, not much choice here. I figure, okay, let's toss one of the clubs. Uh, yeah. So here we are. Um, classic decision. <laughs> what do we do first? Do we draw trumps first? Or is there something better to do? Um, and gosh, those, uh, spades in dummy's hand are so lovely and it sort of feels like this was my thought process. Okay. If we can get the ACE out of the way and maintain an entry to dummy, then, uh, gosh, things could be sitting really pretty. I didn't feel comfortable with the plan that I made, though, which was, all right, let's 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 play a spade first. We'll get the ace of spades out of the way and then hope that we can draw trumps in three rounds, ending in dummy's hand, and then just waltz through the rest of our spades. And if and if everything works perfectly, maybe that's that's all. Maybe that's great. That's what I planned. That's what I did. Um, what do you think? <laughs> so, yeah, I, you have what an interesting think, Doc, Am I crazy? <laughs> no, I, I, you, you, you have, uh, I think, a real dilemma on this hand. Okay. Of course, we know this that is you a have good, to... good therapist. This, <laughs> this, the proper. No, you're not crazy. This is a, a good dilemma. You're dealing with it. Okay, thanks, Doc. Yeah, right. and, and this is, and look, to some degree, you know, whether this contract makes or fails, it's a little bit unlucky in the sense that you have the values to be in game, but a lot of your cards just seem wasted. You know, you've got all these nice spades, opposite shortness. Uh, you know, the diamond situation that we saw the first two tricks. Well, they took their ace of diamonds and sure, you can throw a club on this diamond winner here, uh, but there are still two potential club losers out there with the ace and queen lurking. Um, we could try and set up the spades, but the problem with that is even if the spades are favorable, are we eliminating a guess in the club suit? Not really. Um, we could lead a spade up and uh, look, if, uh, if they grab their ace, if they suspect that this is a singleton two of spades and they grab their ace, yeah, if the spades uh, weren't splitting poorly, you may be able to draw Trump ending in dummy and pitch all your clubs. But 
if one of our spade honors, if we lead up to king, queen, or jack, and it gets covered by the ace, we are missing the 10, the 9, the 8. Those cards start to get promoted. And now, do we have enough spade winners to pitch enough clubs to help us? You may just be delaying the inevitable, which is eventually having to lead from the clubs from dummy and get that right. So I guess that would point to going after the clubs rather than the spades because we have the same problem. If we have two club losers, well, the ace of spades and the big diamond are out there and we're down one. And of course, this is all presuming that the trumps don't go bad on us, right? <laughs> so <Spoiler alert>. <laughs> <laughs> if I yeah. remember right. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, hey, if things go that badly, maybe four hearts shouldn't be making. So, I, I mean, look, just because, you know, just because other tables made it, um, yeah. maybe, maybe they didn't get optimal defense. Right. <laughs> so, or, you know, right. may, maybe as declares, they got some help that you didn't get. But even, but sitting now in the situation we're in, where we kind of have to choose, well, do we want to set up spades or do we want to set up clubs? First, just that is the right question. And there isn't an obvious clubs or spades would be better than the other? Or do you think there is a clear path of, well, the spades are just too risky. You need everything to work out perfectly for that to work. But the clubs you have. Well, so here's one thing. And I, I do think I would lead a spade up first. Not necessarily because I'm going to try and set up the entire suit. Okay. But... So as defenders, we know that it's often right to play second hand low, right? So what if I lead up? Ah, okay. So they've grabbed their ace, which what I was hoping was even if I didn't try to set up the spades, maybe I sneak through a spade. Now yeah. I didn't see I didn't see the auction, so I don't know if there was anything about the bidding that would have indicated that declare. Yeah. As, oh, okay. Yeah. Here's our auction. And yeah, I mean, why would the defense know that you had a singleton spade? That wasn't revealed in the auction, right? Right. So, I mean, it's possible that some, at some tables, maybe they just play second hand low and you sneak a spade through and now you turn your attention to the clubs because you no longer have a spade loser, right? Right. So that right. could have happened. Uh huh. Now this. All right. So, so here, here we are now having to deal with the situation that we're in. Um, do we, do we uh, rough this in dummy? Do we toss a club? You know, I think if they're going to give us the rough slough, I think I would go ahead and ditch a club and rough in hand. And now we may be turning this to complete cross rough. Maybe it's best at this stage not to draw Trump at all. Right. Ah, it, it, it almost, of course, the possibility of a cross rough with our two long suits. All right. So we uh, rough this here. Do we lose this club right away then and see if we can cross rough? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like that idea. Uh, I mean, ideally, you'd be on the dummy to play the 10 of clubs, maybe. Uh, the ace gets grabbed uh, right away. Um, yeah. But the problem is the only way to get to dummy is with a trump. And if we start playing on trump, then we lose the ability to cross rough. But, uh, and, and we can also try and take a couple of pitches on spades first. But of mm. course, somebody might rough in on one of those spades. Right. Because we know that king, queen, jack are winners. It's just how, how, how dangerously do we want to live? Exactly. All right, well, Kurt, how dangerously do you want to live? <laughs> it's so nice <laughs> not being the one in the hot seat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, th look, this is I, – I, I just think this – I mean, this is the type of hand – there's there's just a lot of guesswork. You don't, you don't have okay. a lot to, to, to go on. Uh, yeah. And I don't know. I'd, I'd, have, to do, I'd have to do some profound thinking – uh, perhaps ending uh, up in my own session of bridge therapy uh, <laughs> as, as the uh, 
as the client. The therapists start going to their own therapy therapist. Yeah, because this is what happens on hand like this, right? Sometimes you say, oh, I'm going to try a cross rough, and then you get over roughed, and that plan goes by the wayside. Or right. you decide, hey, I'm going to try and set up the clubs, and you find out, oh, I could have set up the spades. So, all right, well, let's see what happens. I, I, I mean, I say this to all the teachers I get to work with. It's so refreshing and reassuring when teachers share, oh, there isn't a clear way forward with this. This is tricky stuff. Um, so I appreciate you <laughs> being willing to sort of sit with us in the uncertainty. Oh, hey, look at that. The 10 actually forced the uh, the ace. Okay. And we want to win this in dummy. Yeah, and I guess now now the question is how many spades can we safely <laughs> cash? Yeah. Now, notice that the jack of hearts came up here, uh, which means that uh, if mm. Mm. Uh, East is short in spades and tries to rough in, we can over rough. The concern would be if West is short in spades and has the 10 of hearts. Uh, although if they have the 10 of hearts, then they've just false carded here by playing the jack. Right. Right. It plays a real deep bridge there. Right. Yeah. If, if this is an honest card, in theory, the 10 of hearts is on our right. So. Right. Ah, right. So if, if, right. If, huh, that's interesting. So this, this Jack of hearts is important. If it's accurately telling us that East is the dangerous opponent here, at least we can play one or maybe two of these spades a little more confidently. Yeah, I mean, at this stage, we're we are going to need to get a little bit lucky, and uh, we just we just don't know enough about the the distribution on this hand. Although that, well, again, Plus. is that an honest card or not? <laughs> that ten. What do you think? Well, I, I mean, it, it could be that he started with a doubleton spade, or it could be that. East also has the nine and is just trying to make us nervous, right? All right. Good so far. Uh, uh, do we try our luck again? Sure. Let's try another big spade. Find out what happens. Aha. Okay. Right. So, so now so now we know the truth. Yeah. So what so West started with four spades to the ace. That's that's good news, right? So yeah, so we can over rough here. How do we play out the last five tricks? Do we just Well, we the king it? is good. This is this is where it was kind of strange that when we led small toward the 10 of clubs uh that they took the ace. Uh, that we got lucky me. there. So this is a winner as long as they can't rough it. Yeah, that's a winner if nobody if nobody can rough. The king of spades is a winner if no one can rough it. Right now they can. How many how many uh, trumps are still out there? I totally lost count. Uh, well, let's see. They they drew one round for us. So two hearts Four came out then. Here comes the seven. So there are two more hearts remaining. Oh. Is there any way to avoid uh should we just keep going with the cross well, roughing? Yeah, well, why, why don't we go ahead and play? I mean, if East was short in spades, then I would think that East that East would tend to have more clubs. So East may have to follow to these clubs. Uh, and I'm inclined to think that West has the Queen of Clubs. And when you led small toward the 10, maybe just assume that his partner could win with the Jack or something like that. And that's why he didn't hop up with his queen. Huh? Should we play the Jack and let it run? If the queen doesn't, I, I would play, I would play the King first because I think everybody's okay. probably going to follow to that. Okay. Remember clubs have right. only been played once. Aha. There's a queen. Okay. All right. This is kind of what I suspected. So. Wow. Cool. So now, um, 
ah, well, now our clubs are good. So now we draw, we draw two, two rounds of Trump ending back in hand. Ah, okay. So there's your bad break that, that you mentioned. So, yeah, I was, I was just saying maybe at that stage play the king and make them uh-huh, run. Right. Since East had the remaining trumps. He'll follow to the club, but still got a heart lurking over there, doesn't he? Oh, no. Oh. That was all yeah. the hearts. We, that we all lost. The heart. How about so that? That's how, that's how you do it. <laughs> just like that. A perfectly formulated scientific plan, right? Wow. Kurt, thank this is you. A challenging it, hand. It was, uh, yeah, thanks for swimming in these messy waters with us. Um, you know, I, I, it's interesting. I, I I saw it as the decision between spades and clubs, and I totally missed the chance to go for the cross rough, which here seems to have been the path that works out in the end. Um, is there a lesson in this, or is it just that that's the path that w- that worked out in this instance? You know, I, I think sometimes you, you have to just chalk certain hands up to, you know, it, it's very hard to tell what the best line is, and and sometimes we don't know till after the fact, right? I mean, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you have two really equally attractive or even more than two uh, relatively equally attractive lines of play. uh, But there's no way for you to tell which one you should take because maybe percent percentage wise, they could be about the same, but the lie of the cards, uh, you know, is, is unknown. um, Mm. And it can be easy to say at the end, Hey, I should have taken this other line. You know, frankly, if you told me, I mean, missing three aces, and knowing that we are getting a 4-1 split in the Trump suit, missing both the Jack and the 10, my guess off the top would be uh, quite likely there's no legitimate line to make the hand. Right. So when, we, when comparing results, we should always leave space for the possibility of missed defense or a certain line of play. We can't always compare our results with other people as judgment on which was the right step forward. But gosh, that was a fun hand. Thank you for uh, being willing to, yeah, think it through with us. Oh, absolutely. Kurt, until the next time I call you up with a hand I struggle with, or perhaps one of our viewers sends in an interesting hand, uh, please take good care of yourself. And of course, to all the viewers as well. Save a spot for you on the couch whenever you need it. I'm scared. I'm scared to get the bill. I I, I think the rates are going to be high. Okay. (laughs) Bye-bye. Take it easy.